So we've looked at the legs and we've looked at the feet as the most accurate indicators of uh, mental um, activity in reaction to different situations. Well, what about the torso? Well, one of the nice things about the torso is, is that it never lets us down. The torso carries the majority of our most important organs. And so from a evolutionary standpoint, the body has to protect the torso. Well, how does it do that? Number one, it does that by distancing itself from the things it doesn't like. And at the table, you'll see individuals look at their whole cards, put them down, and then they cross their arms in front of themselves, and they're blocking themselves from their own cards. Or they push away from the table showing subconsciously that they really don't like what they're seeing. Or they may in fact turn slightly away. They blade away from the table, sort of showing the shoulder to the table. And you say, well, why would they do this? It is a subconscious interaction. The brain is saying, not interested, and the body responds in kind. And so our torso can help us to evaluate uh, what other people are, uh, are, are doing. One of the ways to do this is to look at see how a person sits. Are they leaning towards the table or are they leaning away from the table? When they're sitting down, are they slumped or do they sit upright? And what you'll find is most of the time people have a sort of preferred sitting behavior where they tend to sit kind of slumped, very comfortable. What happens is as the cards unfold, the community cards come out, if they feel that they have a very strong hand, their posture will change. And you will notice this over and over. The better the hand, the better the posture. They'll tend to sit upright and be more attentive. These are called intention cues. And one of the most important intention cues is the fact that we lean towards the things that we enjoy. If we're with someone we like, we tend to lean towards them. If we see a, a plate of food that we particularly care for, we may lean forward so much so that we actually lean into it so that we can smell it. The opposite of course is you lean into something, you smell it, you don't like it, and so you move away. Now no one gets a memo telling them, hey, this is how you behave when you smell bad food or you see something you don't like. We all tend to do this. Now, great poker players will not reveal these kinds of behaviors, but for the most part, amateurs tend to uh, do these, uh, these tells, these engagement tells where they see their cards, they see the community cards, they like it, and so they tend to move into it. So we want to establish where are their hands, where is their torso, how are they sitting. This all comes as part of the picture. Finally, when we get into the face, we have to look at the dynamics of the face in their totality and see, well, what is it that the face is really telling us? Joe Navarro, former FBI special agent. I amplify. Do you?